Camtasia 2020 has a few new effects in it. One that we have not talked about yet is the new glow effect. Okay, so let's jump over to Camtasia and let's take a look at that guy. The glow effect we find on the more tab under visual effects. Okay, so here it is right here, the glow effect. As with all of visual effects, you can also apply this by selecting the asset you want to apply the glow to and on the canvas right click and add visual effect. Okay, and what glow does is it takes different shades of light and dark and it will apply a kind of glow effect to it. Okay, so let's, I don't know, boost this up a little bit more. Let's go to like 400. There we go. And with the glow effect, we have certain properties that we can apply. Radius, which basically is how far out from the lightness of whatever selected on the canvas. Okay, so this is radiating out from the whatever is light colored and then the intensity. So you can play around with these and kind of come up with some interesting things. You could also fade the effect in essentially by using the ease in and ease out. Ease in means when will this effect begin. So we'll ease it in. Well, let's ease it in after, oh, say a second. And you can do the same on the out. Okay, so now you notice I'm at the beginning of the asset and there is no glow effect because I've told it to ease in. Ease it in there, big guy. And we'll go ahead and ease out the same way. Right now, I could add animation keyframes and do the same kind of thing, but just be aware that this is one of your options here. So we're covering all the properties. So let's let that roll. And it's going to glow. And then it's going to go away. Of course, that's kind of fun. Let's uh, reset those. But maybe more fun is you can also determine when we want the glow to start by changing this particular parameter here on your control. Okay, so you can punch the glow effect in and out at you know a much greater degree of precision here. So I don't know, I haven't tried this. Let's try it. <laughs> what if I wanted to just kind of pop I'm not even sure how long that is. How long is that? Okay, 24 frames worth of glow and then go away. So let's try that. Okay, that might be kind of interesting to do like a neon kind of an effect if you had a neon type of font, you know, a neon light font. And let's see, I'm going to try one other thing. We can also add it multiple times. So this is kind of an easy way to animate this, right? Let's glow it. Let's do it a couple of times. Do, do, do. And just a big finish glow. And we'll ease it out. One. Let's play that. Do, do, do and gone. Nice, right? Okay, so let's glow on text and for the most part, I don't know, text might be kind of interesting and fun, but we'll probably more than likely again use such an effect on something like, oh, a video clip. Right, so here we have some folks at the fair, at the carnival, and let's just go ahead and add the glow effect here glow effect. Let's let that roll. What you'll notice that it did was kind of add a softness to it. Maybe boost up the intensity. Just kind of a handy effect that uh, didn't exist in Camtasia before. Uh, how else could we do this? 
again, I can decide when to have this start. Maybe I want, you know, regular footage, and then the glow will start. Uh, we could ease it in a little bit. So that's the new glow effect. Is the glow always the same color as the original text or shapes, asked Robert. It will kind of vary because, again, the way the glow works is it operates on lightness and darkness. So that's a good question. I haven't really tried that. Let's play with it just a touch. Let's do it on the text callout because it's much more stark, right? Dark light. So we're really kind of operating on the white color here. Let's change that color and see what happens. Let's change it to blue. Ah, right? So now the glow really has a different kind of an effect. And if we increase the radius, we'll see that it kind of behaves differently doesn't it? Okay, so it glows like crazy when the text is white and it glows a little more subtly but it does glow with the color that it is radiating from. Okay, so it's literally picking a color you know, the lightest color that it kinda has to work with and it's simply increasing the radius so if your question is, can you change the color of the glow to be something different than the original source material, I don't think so. I'm thinking not, at least in this particular case. Now what we could do, if we want to have some fun, let's do this. Let's play with some of our tricks. Uh, let's get rid of the glow. Uh, let's do this. Let's copy and let's paste. And I think for, uh, you know what, for this example, let's make one other, ch let's space this out a little bit. There we go. I'm going to space this out a little bit. And let's see. On the bottom copy, let's add us a glow effect. Glow. And let's kind of boost up the radius. There we go. So now I got some decent glowing action. Oh, I meant to do that on the bottom copy. Hold on. On the bottom copy. So what I might need to do is lock this track, right? So I don't select it. Or all I kind of have to do is just move it. Put the playhead over this, and now I won't be selecting that. That's actually kind of a, a good tip. Okay, and then when I'm done, I'll move this back. But So now I'm working on the bottom copy. Let's add us a glow effect. And let's boost her up, boost the radius. I don't know. Let's make it a little more intense. And then, anybody guess what I'm going to do here? Atta boy, Robert. Robert's all over it. So let's do this. There is no glow effect on this one. Let's see what happens if we just change the color. There you go. Boom. That's a rabbit hole. That's our first rabbit hole for the evening. I'm your captain. We'll be going down some rabbit holes this evening. If you look out the right side of the aircraft, you'll see a kind of a cool glow effect done live without a net. Didn't even crash or burn. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. I'm going to use that as a technique. In fact, I am going to add this to my library. Let's add this to the library. Glow. I'm just going to call it Glow1, and I'm going to put it into my test directory. Boom, so I can play with that later, be reminded of it for the whole bunch of Camtasia assets that my good buddy Ron Hogue and I are working on for all you fine folks. Any other questions on the Glow effect? Robert says, that's a good way to call attention to a word or something. Yeah, it is. And course what else can we do we could animate the glow to come in and go out so let me show you how to animate it so we have the glow effect on it right and if we don't want to use the easing you know and stuff like that what if I want to just animate the glow to come in 
let's put the playhead here. Let's drop a keyframe, an animation keyframe. Okay, then all we have to do is go to the beginning and change the properties of glow. So if we take this to nothing, got no glow. As it rolls, it's going to change, the animation will change the state of the properties to that which we set at this at the super keyframe here. So the glow should fade in. There we go. Nice. I like 